You can download the apps in the video for free, link in the description. A static variable is a type of variable that has its value shared amongst every instance of the script. For example, if we have the simple top-down game, and don't want all the enemies to be alerted when the player gets near one of them, instead of trying to set the is alerted variable to true, in all of the enemies once one enemy is set to true, instead we can just make is alerted a static variable. Now, every copy of this enemy scene will share the value of is alerted, meaning if one enemy sets is alerted to true, then all enemies will set it to true. Now an additional use of static variables is to track the amount of enemies alive. Create another variable called enemies alive. Then we will add the built-in functions for enter tree and exit tree. Enter tree will activate when the game begins running or when this enemy is added to the scene during runtime. And exit tree will run when we change the level scene or if we call Q3 on an enemy. In each, we change the enemies alive by one based on the function, either adding one or removing one. And because we are using a static variable for tracking the amount of enemies alive, if you want to access this variable from other scripts, you gain the ability to establish a class name, with enemy being the name of the class. Then inside of another script, we can grab the class name that we established, followed by the static variable, which this only works because it's a static variable, as the reference to the enemy class will also have its static variable updated as we are playing the game. But keep in mind that this will only work with static variables, as regular variables will have their value changed independently based on each instance of a copy of a scene. Meaning that to get that type of variable's value, you would be better off just grabbing a specific enemy node than the variable. And again, because a static variable has its value shared, we can just grab the class rather than a specific enemy. Now you have a basic example of using static variables that you can add to any of your Godot games. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.